Geeks. We're going to take a look now at Pleasant Windows 10. This could be one of the few videos you watch where I'm going to tell you don't download it. It's a very niche tool. It's essentially batch files. You need to extract everything. Once you do, what you need to understand is you're going to be executing a batch file. You can edit them, but if you don't know what you're doing, you really don't want to play around with these. I think most of you know that. We've had five times more views to this download than we have had actual downloads, which means luckily people are reading this. But I just wanted to show you where it might be handy. So now we've got the folder. What I did do is I took from the page the descriptions. As you can see here, it's going to tell you everything that's in the zip, what it does in general. What it doesn't do is tell you how to revert back because that's not easy. So this is kind of handy, for example, for text. If you want to just quickly disable automatic app updates or hide uh, Cortana or hide OneDrive, a couple of things that you might want to do on systems, this is great to have for text. Quick double click and you're not screwing around. But again, you have to be careful because if you disable unnecessary services, it depends on what you consider unnecessary. It may not work for you. Telemetry. You've heard all about that, spying. Um, there you go. Turn off the Windows 10 lock screen, etc. So the guy who wrote this said he was going to do more advanced explanations on these. Maybe he'll allow you to revert back, which he has a couple of them in here, as you can see. Let me get you over here. Windows 10 enable secure Microsoft Edge settings, uh, but there's not a lot in here to restore if you change anything. As you can see, you can do it with Cortana here, hide it, re-enable it, not much else. So if you're going to play with this, you're probably better off with a tweaking program than this. Really save it for text. But if there's something in here you want to run, maybe you can back up your system first just in case because odds are you're not going to be able to fix it. For example, uh, let's see if I can get this opened up here easily. Uh, da -da -da -da. Maybe not. I know I can drag it over there. Hold on a second. There we go. So odds are you're not going to understand any of this stuff. So if you can't edit batch files, which is another cool thing for the geek, you can edit this to make it, to tweak it, do what you want to do, or revert back. But again, it's it's a very niche tool. So, and the other problem with it is you have stuff like the set ACL. There's no explanation about that. And then this one here, clean Win 10 start menu. He left that out. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on with this one. I, I mean, you can kind of assume clean Win 10 start menu, but it depends on how he defined it and what it was he was after. Without any explanation, I wouldn't play with it. But once again, just to give people a quick overview to see what it does, it's as simple as that. It's very handy for the text to just make a couple of quick changes. You know, maybe Defender got screwed up and you want to try that to enable it. And if you run them, you don't see much. The batch file runs, I believe, in a DOS screen. Let's see here. What can I play with? Let's do telemetry. Where'd that go? Oh. Oh, my God. Actually, first time I saw Windows protect my PC is probably a good idea. There you go. That's all you're going to see. A simple DOS screen. So now you're done. So now if you, if you didn't like the settings you got, if you can't edit that, you can't go back, you better have a backup. So there you go. I just wanted to explain what the program does a little bit. It's in here just because it's, it's geeky and it's niche and it needs a little work, but it does what it's supposed to do. So once again, as always, take a moment and subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. And we thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time.